so this is uh what we were hoping for this winter you know enough ice where it contains the the ducks all together and stuff uh we'll start this episode off this way a little bit live in the field uh it was 15 degrees when i got here this morning it's it's probably 17 degrees i don't know but the sun is you know this is the end of february the sun is getting up and uh uh, this ice will be gone, I'm sure, by the afternoon. This is uh, just a cold night. And, uh, we've got some beautiful ringneck ducks and some beautiful uh, bufflehead ducks. Uh, the pond has now been covered with ice. Hopefully we get an otter today. And I uh, hope you enjoy what I put together this week. Thank you for tuning in. Well, we're back at it. As you can see, uh, a little opening from the field there. A uh, little chilly, a little bit of ice on the water. <laughs> get towards almost March now and now we get some ice so don't don't ask me uh did not get an out of a course a day uh also gonna talk a little bit from my sister who has retired god bless her for that uh good luck to her I hope she stays busy and active but she has uh uh some different birds at her feeders and one of them is uh for up here in New England this time of year is uh, pine wobblers. Uh, she's got a few pine wobblers, so uh, she asked me to come ID, ID them for her, and uh, I went out there and wishing her a fantastic retirement uh, uh, and stuff. But other than that, let's get right to the video. Uh, I want to do a few little pictures because I did not photograph a lot. I was just mostly working on my video, working on my video, end of it with uh, so that you know next week's March. Uh, and we'll be going, uh, you know, the ospreys will be coming around the spring equinox. So, woohoo, ospreys, yes. Oh, God, it's going to make me feel alive. But I'm going to feel alive this Friday because me and Jody are heading to the Bronx Zoo. And that is one of my uh, favorite places, the Bronx Zoo. I just, sorry, I'm a zoo person. I will tell you that. I just love all life on the planet and, uh. The Bronx is certainly uh, has many uh, wonderful animal encounters for me, and uh, I took my son Nicholas when he was only six months old, like that, you know, little little little, little dude, little dude, and I uh, used to heat up water bottles and travel from Taunton, Massachusetts, to New York City, to the Bronx in New York, and did that almost every other weekend in the winter at times. Uh, so uh, heated up the bottles, and we would go inside for microwaves. The girls would let me heat it up inside the cafeteria if I needed some more. Or, uh, just me and him, and that was always like, you know, for me, it was just life. There's life other than human, and that's beautiful. As Jane Goodall, though, said, the great Jane Goodall, I'll leave you with this quote before we get into it. I am happiest when I'm alone in the wild. And, uh, I'm pretty much that way too, Jane. So, peace all. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's mostly on ducks this week and a little bit for my sister's feet up. All right? But you'll see some really nice, 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 cool little stuff there. I promise you. Thanks. So, just an opening photo there. Got the ring neck on the right. Got the buff with the beautiful uh, on the left there. Uh, buffaloes are the smallest of the diving ducks we get. You know, they're, uh, they actually nest in like flicker holes and stuff like that in Canada. And in the boreal forest, uh, they are, that's pretty much where they uh, have their babies and stuff. Uh, when a buff dies underwater, they die for about 12 seconds uh, average. And in, they eat little insects and stuff. Uh, the swans almost cooperated to make that perfect hop for me. Uh, but that did not happen today. Uh, of course, you always want that. that. I mean, uh, you know, how many photographers have made a great money on photos like that. Uh, I certainly made some money on this one. This is a past one.
Well, that will do for this week. Uh, here's the look again. We love the Nanook. Uh, uh, certainly, what, a, what an angel this cat is. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, great little selection of birds on huh? my sister's backyard. She is so lucky and so blessed. I, again, wish her a great retirement. Peace all. And next week should be chock full of stuff. I'll probably even be releasing a special... Uh, special video next week for the people who want to see some of the greater things in the Bronx Zoo because I know I will get some magnificent stuff there and then back into the wild. Peace all.